Audi TT Mark 1 annoying exhaust rattles or loose catalytic converter heat shield. I accept no responsibility or liability for any injury, damage or loss caused from the content of this video. Don't forget to check out some of my DIY repair tutorials here on YouTube that may help with some common Audi TT fixes such as CV joints, jacking the car, track rod ends etc. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this useful. The TT has developed a rattling sound when idling and it appears to be coming from the exhaust system somewhere. It did not come out very clearly on the video so I've recorded it here on my phone. So let's get the car out of this snow and in the garage and take a look. So using this handy crutch, I was able to apply pressure to parts of the exhaust to find where the rattle was. With the engine running, I was able to establish fairly quickly it was this silver plate here, or to give it its proper name, the catalytic converter heat shield. Shown here, you can see one of the bolt heads that holds it in place is completely sheared off. There's actually five bolts that hold this plate in place, and the three rear ones are completely missing on mine, hence the rattle. So you could go to the effort of drilling out the bolt and replacing it, or you could do what I'm going to do and simply spot weld it into place. So let's get the car lifted up using the trolley jack and secured in place using the axle stands. I've covered where to jack and where to put the axle stands in a previous video which I shall leave a link to here. Now I'm no welder and I would never undertake anything structural but for spot welding this plate in place I think my skills are fine. I'm sure I'm going to get plenty of comments about how bad my welding is so I hold my hands up and say I'm sorry guys. I've read on many forums that this heat shield is actually unnecessary. It's only there to prevent you setting fire to the grass in the summer when parked over dry land. However, I want to keep the car original, so I'm going to leave it in place and hopefully this tack welding should hold. Giving it a little tap with the end of the welder shows there's no movement in the heat shield now, so fingers crossed this has worked. Raise the car again slightly to remove the axle stands, get it back on the ground and then it's the moment of truth. Apologies for the sound quality here, but my reaction says it all. The rattle has gone and the car is sorted. Thanks for watching. Feel free to post any comments in the section below.